Let me ask you about this new news then around these two suppliers. You've, you've locked in two suppliers mm. to get your hands on the number of batteries that you need. How difficult has that been for you, given the amount of competition in the autos industry, going after the supplies from, what, four, three or four big suppliers yeah. of batteries? No, no, no. It's, we are not alone now going electric. So, of course, this is the main thing with the deal. We need to secure that. And uh, uh, I think we have been discussing and negotiating for a long time, of course, but uh, that we have been very clear in our strategy I think has helped us. I think we are a good partner also to them. They know we are serious, we are going to go electric and we need them also of course not just to get the volume but also to have them as uh, development partners because there is a lot of things going on, on in the chemistry to, to really have the next generation of batteries. So this is a really strategic move for us, will be the most important components really of the future car. Okay, Matt. Are you basically done, Hakon, with the uh, internal combustion engine? I noticed the XC90 has no V8 option. I don't even think there's a V6 option. Is that over for Volvo? Yeah, yes and no. I mean, it will not go, go overnight. But, uh, I mean, we are selling uh, right now, some years ago, half a million cars to, with combustion engines. And, of course, we need also to transform uh, this in a, in a way that also our customers will follow. So it, uh, it cannot happen overnight. There will still be combustion <laughs> engines, especially for hybrid vehicles. But, uh, of course, long term, it is uh, electricity that we prioritize. I mean, we want to be leaders in electrification and, uh, and it means that we are scaling down an R&D on combustion engines and gradually you will see them uh take a smaller and smaller percentage of our sales. Mm. And talking of R&D, you, you've seen a big ramp up, as many car makers have, mm. in R&D as we see this big pivot towards mm. electric vehicles. So I think your R&D spend was up 19% in 2018, 55% mm. higher in the first quarter of this year. How much do you sacrifice profitability then to invest enough in mm. this next generation of cars? Uh, it's always a balance, but I mean, we have an R&D spending of 5 6% of revenue, so it's, it's rather they're uh, constant but of course in uh, millions it has increased because our top line has grown also in 20 percent last year so we so say get the resources for R&D from growth and I think that's our strategy to continue. We have uh, or you have uh, I should say the probably the most beautiful station wagon in the world right now in, in the V90. But I noticed that you're also going to limit top speeds to 180 kilometers per hour. Typically, when I see these station wagons on the Autobahn here, they're flying by me at 210, 220. Why would you do that, Hakon, especially for the German market? Isn't that going to hurt sales? Yeah, well, okay. You can imagine we have had a very intense debate about that, and especially with our German colleagues. But uh, in a way, I think also we need to start addressing uh, really the remaining accidents that uh, we still have, and they are really three sources uh, to them. That's uh, too much uh, speed, uh, way too high speed. It's intoxication. Uh, and it is really this destruction, these um, three things we need to address. And I think a good starting point and really to focus on this to say, is it really reasonable to be able to drive faster than 180? That's a very few places in the world you really need that. So I think this has been seen as a measure to really strengthen our brand, uh, really focusing on customers who really think protecting what's important for you is part of the values you buy with the car and uh, of course everybody doesn't love that but I mean I think we need to make a Volvo even more Volvo and uh, that's why this 180 I think is a way for us to say that we need to participate in this debate how can we really come down to zero making accidents. the Volvo more Volvo yes. I, that's a that's a nice line I can um, let me ask you about the subscription service and the types of ownership that mm. you see mm. growing in the market because you've got this uh, uh, care by Volvo package which is mm. basically when a lot of the costs mm. are, are, are rolled in and it's a subscription mm. service rather than sort of outright ownership mm. how do you how, how do you see the the different ownership models for the auto industry evolving from here I think 
a, a, a very strong trend is that people, especially younger consumers, don't prefer to invest a lot of money in a car. They prefer to pay a monthly flat fee, exactly as happened with the smartphones mm. many years ago. So I think that is changing the financial relation with our consumer, but, which is very important, it does not change the emotional ownership. I think we still call our smartphone our smartphone. We will call the car our car, even if we subscribe for it. But I think customers want transparency and flexibility, and they need to know the total cost. They, uh, we need to offer the same price to everybody, uh, wherever they live in the country. And I think uh, you stay as long as you prefer to have this service. I think it's very difficult to lock people in. I mean, this is the trend that is coming. But you must be you. watching the rental, the growth of rental as well. I mean, a lot of people are moving away from ownership and towards yeah. just picking up a car when they mm. need one day to day, certainly in big cities. Mm. So we will have two concepts. One is more or less a flat rate, my car all the time, subscription flat rate or you need my car sometimes. Maybe you need it for one day, two day, and that's our new division M for car sharing mobility, which we are now launching in Stockholm as the first, and we will continue in the US. So these are two very important uh, ways of bringing really mobility to customers, or really the freedom to move to customers, as we call our new product.